Okay, sorry about that. I'm just going to finish this off. Um, just just a, just a few minutes just to finish this off. I'll call the previous one uh, uh, part one. I'll call this one part two. So literally all I've done is stop and start the camera. Um, it's still set to 12 volts. Um, we've still got, you can probably hear it started raining. We've still got uh, 630 milliamps on squelch receive. So the way it's looking at the moment, the FT857 is almost, uh, almost um, twice as efficient on receive as the FT450. Remember the FT450 was about an amp. Uh, this is about 600 milliamps. Uh, the 817 is about 300 milliamps. And um, to produce 100 watts um, of FM on 40 meters, it used the FT450 used 14.3 uh, or 4 amps. So what I'll do is I'm just going to I'm just going to change the mode. If I can remember how to do it. Let me change the mode on this thing. Upper sideband, CW, oh, actually CW would have done, AM, FM, okay. right -o. so, ah, oh, and the other thing too is I need to see if this is set to 100 watts, don't I? Ooh, how do I do that? Ah, uh, oh, there we go. RF power set 100 watts, so I've already done that. So that's set to 100 watts. And come out of that. Okay, and that's FM. So I'll key the 857. Let's see what sort of current it draws. Oh, yeah, okay. So, so the 857 is far more efficient on receive by the look of it. But as soon as I press that PTT, look at that, 16 amps. So it's going to suck that current out of your battery on transmit. It's going to produce the same amount of current uh, producing the peak SSB. Uh, I'll just show you that. It's on the lower sideband. So if I now whistle into the microphone, you should see about the same sort of reading on there. Yeah, you can see it's peaking up over 15 amps there. So it's uh, it's less efficient on transmit and more efficient on receive. And that was at 12 volts. Oh, let's just uh, put it back to FM and see what sort of indication we get on the power meter. Remember where the, uh, the FT450 was? It was. Uh, uh, just below the 100 on that bottom scale. Remember the bottom scale is a 200 watt scale? And this is producing slightly more power as there's a needle's breadth closer to 100 watts. So it's drawing more current on transmit but it's producing more output power as well. So um, considering it's considering we're talking about SSB it's only going to be drawing peak current or voice peaks. If you're sitting on a hilltop, <coughs> excuse me, the 857 is going to give you uh, more operating time than the uh, than the FT450. Um, uh, the difference in uh, output power between the two is probably only a few watts and would not be detectable without laboratory equipment by anybody listening. Okay, um, now was there? Oh yeah. So there's one other thing I need to do, and that's just do the same test again. Um, with the um, 857, but this time with the power supply set to 13.8 volts. Let's get the meter probes. <coughs> I said we were going to have really bad weather this weekend, but I mean, it's raining, but it's hardly blowing the house down. There's all these extreme weather warnings and goodness knows what else, but uh, it's a bit of a Bit of a storm in a teacup so far, fortunately. Let's put that round of volts. <clears throat> and just adjust that. Adjust that back to 13.8. I'll do it slowly because the 857 is still connected, of course. I don't really want to go above 14 volts. With the radio connected. 
7.81 okay so now let's just do the same test with 13.81 volts on it so this would be if you were running the 857 in your shack or in your car put me on to the current drawn zero it um, so we'll leave it on power for the minute and just do the do the power consumption uh, sorry the uh, the current consumption on transmit make it the same okay so it's on FM so it's going to be a maximum uh, maximum current draw that's interesting so the volts has gone up but the current's gone down so it's like the Yaesu is sort of maintaining the, uh, the 100 watts out even though the voltage has changed so the voltage has gone up the current's gone down so it maintains the 100 watts output it's interesting and what do we have here get the glare off of that yeah Output power is about the same. It's, it looks like, according to this meter, it's sitting on the 100 watts. And uh, the FT450 was sitting on 90 or 95 probably. That other peg is probably 95 watts. So, so that's the difference between the, uh, uh, between the 857. Let's put it back to lower sideband. Great little radio, by the way, the 857. I'm, uh, I'm thinking of buying another one. Um, so I can have one into the, as a sort of portable kit. Not that I do a great deal of, of portable work, but one as a portable kit and uh, one installed in the shack, you know, because it does everything really. And I'm not, uh, you know, I don't take it all that seriously. I don't really need to pull stations out of the noise on HF. Um, I wouldn't be doing any, I wouldn't be doing any contesting, that sort of thing. And the received current squelched, lower sideband received current about half an amp as it was before there we go so what I might do um, I hope you found that uh, hope you found that interesting or useful um, <clears throat> uh, what I might do a bit later on if I'm bored is uh, dig out the scope and um, and the sniffer so I can sniff the uh, the power going into the dummy load um, I've got one of these proper attenuated sniffer things uh, for transmission monitoring and um, I'll just uh, just have a look at the waveform see what the AM waveform on the uh, on the two radios is like um, well I, uh, I hope you found that interesting sorry I had to uh, split this uh, rather rapidly into uh, into two parts that 20 minutes crept up on me it was a real real surprise time flies when you when you're having so much fun um, um, and um, I'll uh, Thank you, as always, for watching, and catch you next time.